Welcome back to Western New York Living. Over the past decade or so, advances in medical procedures have offered new hope for medical problems that used to require more advanced surgeries. For women suffering from uterine fibroids, one of their main options for treatment used to be a hysterectomy. At Winsong Interventional and Vascular Services, they are now performing a minimally invasive procedure to reduce the major symptoms of this problem. As I found out, it is truly life-changing for their patients. I'm sure most everyone has heard the old saying that knowledge is power. For Dr. Dana Dunleavy of Winsong Interventional and Vascular Service, he understands that providing knowledge to all his patients can help them better understand their healthcare options. Close to one-third of all women over the age of 30 have uterine fibroids. Of course, for many, the symptoms may not be as noticeable, but for those whose symptoms are more severe, uterine fibroids can disrupt their lives. So the most frequent one that ends up causing people to be bothered by it is heavy bleeding. So their uh, menses get longer and heavier, passing more clots. They find that not e able to do as many of the activities as they want. So you might feel like you need to stay home certain days of the month. Um, other people, because of the bulk symptoms, because the tumors get so big, start to have pain related to the pressure and it's a pretty confined space and so if it goes forward it's pushing on your bladder so people find that they're peeing frequently and if it goes backwards it's pushing on their spine and the nerves that go into their legs some people describe a sciatica type experience and it also makes you constipated because it's pushing on your bowel there but again it's non-cancerous and so you don't actually have to take the whole organ out to uh, have a cure basically you're just trying to make the pain go away in the past, the only way to treat uterine fibroids was with pharmaceutical treatment or surgery. Today, most women have the option of a non-surgical procedure called uterine fibroid embolization. At Winsong, Dr. Dunleavy and his staff are performing this type of procedure in their new state-of-the-art interventional and vascular suite. It's just so nice that um, doesn't have to always be the option, but that this is a non-surgical option for them because many people find that if they work or they take care of their children that they don't have the ability to go through a surgery and they just kind of live with this, thinking that surgery is not an option for them. And the great thing about this vascular treatment is it treats all of the fibroids. So basically starves the tumors and they need a lot of nutrition and oxygenation. And that's the way that uh, most tumors work is that they actually need more nutrition than than other normal parts of the body and so it actually forms new big blood vessels we call it a hypervascular tumor and so we go right into those big vessels and cut off the blood supply to them and then they just shrink with this we now can just go through the wrist through the radial artery and do all the treatment there there's absolutely no incision at all and so they just get a band-aid on the way out and that way they can walk, they can pee, they don't need a Foley catheter, uh, they don't have to lie flat, and they don't need hospitalization. I think that I would always um, encourage people to be evaluated just to know all of their options. Again, you know, uterine fibroids are not an emergency. You know, they're something that certainly can impact your life terribly, uh, but you really want to know all of your treatment options, and so that's all this is. It, you just have a discussion about uh, possibilities. To find out more about all the medical services Dr. Dunleavy and the rest of the staff at Winsong Interventional and Vascular Services are performing, including the uterine fibroid embolization procedure, head over to their website at winsonginterventional.com. All the treatments are done in an outpatient setting, and their new $1.2 million interventional and vascular services suite is state-of-the-art. You can give them a call at 929-9484.